Okay. Dude, this is so... Dude, I can't. Okay, what's going on guys? So, as you can probably see by the title of the video, you already know what this is about. So this is the Atlas Athlete Backpack. I actually came across this thing like probably almost a year ago and I was checking it out and it looked good and everything, but I just wasn't like 100% sure that it was exactly what I wanted. And um, so yeah, I have a couple other backpacks that I use. So what I have here, just turn this around, is basically, it's a low pro, it's like a 20 liter bag, and I got this thing super cheap. And this is kind of what I use as, like, I don't know, just going out on hikes, um, smaller trips, things like that. It doesn't have a lot of storage, it's just this right here, which is not bad actually. You can fit more in there than you think. But it just, yeah, I mean, when you start talking drone and everything, you know what I'm talking about. I don't even really have to explain it. This, I've done a review on Low Pro Rover 45 something. I'll put the link up over here. You can watch that video if you want. This is like five years ago. I think I bought this maybe four or five, six years ago. The reason why I bought this bag is because A, photo stuff, but I also do a lot of hiking where sometimes I'll just bring a point and shoot and I won't bring my whole DSLR or mirrorless, whatever. But there's a couple things I don't like about this. It doesn't open from the back. I would like a bag where the pads came out. These things came out. Because if I just want to go on a day hike or just a morning hike for like a couple miles, I kind of don't want to like walk around a, a simple trail that's up the road that, um, you know, with like a huge bag like this. It just, I don't know, looks a little bit awkward. And this opens from the front. You can open it up this way. And when you open it, these actually sit up so it makes the bag even wider so you have to open up these separate compartments that come with this bag and and then your gear is in there so you have to open the bag and you have to open these because if you keep these open there's going to be no cushion for your lenses and stuff this is flimsy it's just a pocket here and a pocket on the outside so i wanted something that opened from the back where the straps are here but at the same time like i didn't want to spend a lot of money and all these bags are expensive you probably know and this bag isn't cheap either but i also wanted a bag i'm like okay if i'm spending this kind of money it better come with like a rain cover so I looked around, looked at all Low Pro's current bags. I looked at all F-Stop's bags. I looked at everyone's bag. I probably looked at every single bag that is on the internet that you can possibly buy. I literally went on B&H and I scrolled through every single bag. I wanted to make sure I bought the right one and I kept going back to this Atlas bag. Enough with the rambling. What I want to do is open it up, give you a first impression type thing, feel, quick features and functionality. And then what I want to do is actually load this thing up with some gear and go out on like a quick just two mile hike in the woods. So let me just unopen this with hold on. Let's see what we're working on. Oh god. Okay. Oh. So this is the belt system. That's what I like about this bag. The belt system actually comes off. So if you just wanna like use it as a regular bag, you don't have to have the waist belt on and yeah, that's like one of the huge reasons why I want this bag. Right. Okay, so as you can see, I got the yellow one. Um, it's relatively light. I'm just going to do a quick walk through here. And I'll put it up this way so you guys can see. There's a pocket up here. Oh, we got some cord uh, pull things over here. I'll just put them back in there. There's a pocket here. This is nice. You have these little loops here that you can attach stuff. So you got a pocket on this side, stretchy, pocket on this side. That's another thing. I wanted two pockets. Um, tripod, tripod, you can do water bottle, water bottle, basically whatever combination you want. And I wanted them pretty big because I have a 32 liter uh, water bottle and I used to use that, but it doesn't really fit inside either of the other two bags, those two low pros I have. So I wanted something with big pockets. And the other reason why I got this is it's pretty narrow right here. Uh, basically, this is how big it is, um, condensed down. So it's kind of a simple backpack if you just have it set up like this and you're just going out for a regular ride, a regular ride, 
a regular hike or walk or whatever. These pads are pretty thick, so I guess you have a, a pocket here in the front. And unclip these. Just like the low pro, you have a, this is a big pocket here that goes all the way down to here. So basically you have here to here. It's probably about 14, 15, 16 inches. And this is stretchy as well a little bit. So you can load that up, but there's nothing to, nothing to clip it up here. So probably don't want to put anything too important in there. Open it up. If you open it up, I don't know if you can see that, but it's basically the camera pouch in there. And this whole thing comes out and you have to loosen these up. One strap here, here, and same on the other side. And then this whole part will come out. And you can fit a lot of stuff. And there is a sleeve in here for a laptop. I have my 13 inch laptop right here actually. Let's see how that fits. 13 inch laptop fits perfect. And I have a slim case on it. I will get, yeah, so it's like right in there. I would say you probably have room for maybe the newer 15 inch MacBooks. I used to have an older 15 inch MacBook that was pretty thick. That, I don't know if it'll fit, but anyways. My 13 inch is a 2019, it fits no problem in there. It's definitely a little bit cushioned, uh, so you're good there. Two pockets here, when you flip this over. One pocket here. Oh no, just one. Okay, one pocket here. Oh, yeah, so you got one pocket here. You got these loops again, which is awesome. You actually got two here. I didn't see this initially. This main one, and it's this whole size right here. And then you have this one up front here. That's where my little, little holes are. Let's take a look at the back. It's ribbed. Oh, so with the... With this out, these are not attached to this. Yeah, I just noticed that now. So these are attached to the bag, but I guess you can just stuff them right in here. So they're not hanging out. So this is important here. This piece is not ribbed. Starting here, I don't know if you can see that on the video, this is all ribbed to let air go through. I don't know how well it's gonna work. So you'll probably sweat here, maybe sweat a little here. I've yet to carry a bag. I've used more than just those two that I haven't sweat. So, like, uh, I, I highly doubt there's a guy out there that. Oh, damn. This is bigger than I thought. So this pocket here, so when you open up the back, you have this little pocket right here. This gives you access right to the inside of the bag. This is currently the setup with the origami thing pushed in. So if I take these out, I feel like they could be a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, they're okay, but I just feel like, I just feel like they can be built a little better. But I guess the thing with these is they mold to your gear. So maybe that's why they feel that way. I mean, there's cushion there, don't get me wrong, but they feel flimsy, but I guess they're flimsy for that reason, so they can mold. So these are out, and this is supposed to pop in. Okay, this you can push out like that for more room to store camera gear, or you can pull it out this way, and now you have more room inside the back. So this piece is not sticking out into the main compartment anymore. Push it out, you can see it's right here. Pull it in, you can see it's not there anymore. And then you have some pockets here on this side. Um, this, oh, what's on here? Oh, Atlas Pack stickers. Cool. Pouch there, and then a small one here for, you know, you can put probably memory cards, maybe batteries. Same thing up here. Two of the same pocket, same depth, same everything. The zippers feel pretty good. Um, and it looks like they're sealed. I don't know if you can see that. Try and see that the zipper is kind of sealed off, so I think it might be watertight or water resistant. Okay, so you got a pocket here, there's a zipper on the side. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. It's about this deep right here. Probably water bottle or something. Um, the other side does not have that. 
Now a nice little touch. I don't know if you can see this. Let me zoom in. So right here, I don't know if you can see that right there. There's like a little loop and you can put this through the loop. I mean, it's still gonna hang down, but instead of hanging down this way, you could run it through the loop and it's gonna kind of hang down towards the back. One other thing, these pockets right here I didn't cover. Some people online were like, you know, it's a pocket inside of the pockets, which is true. So it's a pocket that comes out and folds out and you can, you know, put whatever you want in here. And a couple of people were like, yeah, you can't really use the, it for anything, these pockets, because of the pocket inside the pocket, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. So even with that in there, you still have room in there. You can definitely fit keys in there. You can probably fit a cliff bar in there. Let's test that out. Ooh, the light is fading. So I got a cliff bar here. Seriously though, these chocolate brownie cliff bars are unbelievably good. So let's see if we can fit it in here all day. No problem. So you can put a cliff bar in there. At least you know basically what size you're working with. All right. So that's a bag. This is what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna load it up with some gear. Then we're gonna go out for a hike. It's like five o'clock. Yeah, we're fine. Let me go ahead and pack it up with some stuff. I'll kind of show you what I have in there really quick. And then jump in the car, head out, go for a walk, and I'll vlog and kind of show you guys how I feel, so. Okay guys, so, got it on my back. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, literally you guys saw. I took this thing out of the box, talked about it, loaded it up, went in my car, and just literally threw it on my back. And, um, hold on a sec, that's better. And um, I literally just threw it on my back. And for the first like five minutes, the straps, were digging into me a little bit here and here so I had to make a few small adjustments but still I haven't even really adjusted it that much um, but it's comfortable so far so yeah I'm just gonna keep walking probably another half hour or so it's starting to get dark anyway sun's going down pretty soon and then I'll follow up with you guys and see how uh, see how it's feeling after like another 30 minutes I think there's a bench over here that I passed on my way up this way. So I'm gonna set up on that bench, set up my camera quick on a tripod and just kind of give you my five cents overview on this. Although I haven't been wearing it long, but overall, I mean, yeah, it, it feels good, honestly. So I spent about 30 minutes, 40 minutes hiking with this. And there was a couple things that you guys didn't see that I actually threw on here or threw inside. I threw a water bottle in here to add some additional weight and plus in case I got thirsty. I also threw my tripod on this side and strapped it in with these. I'm currently using the tripod so that's why it's, that's why it's not here right now. Yeah, I mean, it's comfortable. Again, the straps were digging into me a little bit when I first got out here and first started. But I made a few adjustments and after that it was fine. The waist belt. Let me quickly talk to you about the waist belt. It is really comfortable. This is like firm, but it's almost like a gel material. But a little bit, it's firmer than like standard gel. But it's nice. It's super comfortable on your waist. And the same thing with this back piece right here. Um, this is the same material as the waist belt. And I wore, this is a cotton shirt and I wore it on purpose. It's about 60 degrees out here, so it's not that hot. I just wanted to see if I'd get any sweat on my lower back from this right here. I didn't, but again, I was only walking for maybe 30, 40 minutes. So take it for what it's worth. Yeah, overall right now I'm happy. Again, this was just a quick take it out of the box. And right now I'm filming on my point and shoot, so I still have everything in here. Um, 
I'm not shooting on my A7 III, so that's still sitting in here. You can see everything is still in here, like all of it. This bag is shallow, so you can't stand up tall lenses like this, but that's what gives it its slim, um, streamlined kind of look, which I knew when I bought. And so, you know, lenses like these, longer lenses, you have to lay down flat, uh, but that's okay. Anyone out there that's looking for a camera backpack and is considering the Atlas, this is the Athlete, it's good. These, these waist straps, which is where 90% of the weight goes, are really nice, they're really comfortable. And I love that they pull out. So if I just have one lens in here, I'm just going for a quick walk up in these woods. I come up here all the time. Um, I can just throw a water bottle in. I don't have to have these, um, you know, hanging out. I can just use it as like a regular backpack. But in any event, super happy so far. Any questions, guys, uh, any comments, whatever, leave them down below. If you've gotten this far, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks. Bye.